Why people care about audiophile DACs in 2022 is beyond me. They are all a complete waste of money and to be avoided at all costs. There is a much better product your money could go towards. Let's start with the problems with most audiophile DACs. Almost all of them require wall power, meaning you cannot power and send data through one port. The second problem is they have no features. The only thing they can do is output voltage. Thirdly, almost all of them are not technically correct as DACs. For a 44.1 kHz sampling rate, a filter is supposed to brick wall at 22.05 kHz according to Nyquist's theorem. Here is what you should get instead. The Motu M2 is $200 and can do anything an audiophile DAC can and a lot more. We have fully transparent RCA outs, fully transparent balanced outputs, very high dynamic range, no audible time-based errors, a perfect reconstruction filter, dead flat to 20 kHz in brick wall at 22.05 kHz, a headphone output with an impedance of 0.06 ohms, which is incredibly low and essentially perfect. Not a single headphone you use will have coloration from the Motu M2. It has plenty, and I mean plenty, of power for the Moondrop variations. You will not need a more powerful amp. This gets insanely loud. The only decent headphone you could argue you need more power for is the Dan Clark Stealth. Julian Cross measured the microphone output performance of the Motu M2 and it was fantastic. Extremely low preamp noise, very high dynamic range, and a flat frequency response. It is utterly transparent. When an audio interface that's $200 comes with two mic inputs, both with the direct monitoring available, level meters to indicate if your output or input is clipping, an incredibly clean headphone out for any good headphone besides arguably the Dan Clark Stealth, an amazing feeling volume control, with perfect channel matching throughout as it's digitally controlled, a huge volume control for your DAC or studio monitors, up to over 4 volts out balanced which is what you get in audiophile DACs, and the entire thing is bus powered, meaning you do not need separate ports for charging and data transfer. Speaking of microphones, you might have noticed that I'm using a different mic this video. That is because I purchased the Rode NT1 along with the Motu M2. I originally purchased the USB microphone called the SE Neome, because YouTuber said it was good and the frequency response seemed okay. However, there was no self-noise spec listed. What a big mistake I made. None of the shill YouTubers with affiliate links mentioned this issue. But the SE Neom was utterly unusable with its self-noise. Testing the SE Neom voice over microphone. How does it sound? Let me know. Is it sibilant? Testing the 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro voice over microphone. How does it sound? Let me know. Is it sibilant? But after hearing the potential of mic better than my MacBook had, I decided it was time to get serious. I purchased the Rode NT1 because of its ultra low self noise, one of the lowest self noise microphones in the market, and its very smooth and flat frequency response. The Rode NT1 is certainly a TLM 103 killer for $200. No rot, there is no way to get around this. In conclusion, if you want a real DAC, Get a Motu M2. It has the best headphone app performance of any interface on the market. Almost every other interface has some severe deal breaking issue. Not the Motu M2. It absolutely thrashes any audiophile DAC you throw at it. Both in objective and subjective performance. And you can run up to two microphones if you want. If you want to sit around like a loser with a topping E30, that's up to you. It really is insane why anyone would buy a dumb audio fool DAC when stuff like this exists. I would like to give a shout out to my three channel members, Hermeticus, Tungaritis, Senevri, and Vsauce4. Thank you for supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. If you want to support the realist audio reviewer, donate through PayPal to ganio1 at gmail.com. Super chat donations in your comments. Or join the channel membership for $4.99 a month for a shout out at the end of each video, as well as a special role in the Discord server with text to speech permissions. If you want me to review a product, specify the product in your donation. If you would like to talk to people about anything audio related and much more without the fear of getting banned for no reason, join the Apple House Sound Discord server linked in the description. As usual, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.